Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Before going to the video, those who are not subscribed our channel, subscribe it and also click the bell button. In this video, we are going to see about traveling wave tubes. Traveling wave tube or traveling wave tube amplifier is a specialized vacuum tube that is used in electronics to amplify radio frequency signals which are in the microwave range. Traveling wave tubes are used as high gain, low noise and wide bandwidth microwave amplifiers. It is primarily a voltage amplifier and uses a slow wave structure. The slow wave structure may be a helix or coil. Traveling wave tube and crystal are O type tubes that is linear beam tubes while magnetron is a M type tube that is cross field tube. In linear beam tubes the DC magnetic field is parallel the DC electric field while in cross field tubes or M tubes the DC magnetic field is perpendicular to the DC electric field. The operating frequency of traveling wave tubes range from 300 MHz to 100 GHz. The power gain of traveling wave tube is of the order of 40 to 70 decibel while the output power ranges from few watts to 10 MW. Next, let us see the construction of traveling wave tube. The traveling wave tube consists of an electron gun inside which it has cathode, anode and heater. Then permanent magnet or electromagnets to provide the required magnetic field. Slow wave structure. Here helix is used as slow wave structure, attenuator, vacuum tube and collector. In the electron gun, a heated cathode emits electrons. Hence the electron gun produces and accelerates an electron beam along the axis of the tube. The magnetic system that is permanent magnet or electromagnet provides a magnetic field along the axis of the tube to focus the electrons into a tight beam. Here the slow wave structure is a coiled wire that is helix which is at the center of the tube and act as a low impedance transmission line for the radio frequency energy within the tube. The attenuators which are placed along the RF circuit prevent the reflected wave from traveling back to the cathode in the electron gun. After passing through the slow wave structure that is helix, the electron beam is received at the collector. The speed of this electron beam will be about 10 to 50 percent of speed of light that is 1 by 10 to 1 by 2 of the speed of light. The components of traveling wave tube are kept under a very high vacuum. The RF input and output signals may be coupled onto and removed from the helix by using waveguide directional couplers that have no physical connection to the helix. The axial phase velocity of the electron beam through the helix will be if Vp is equal to C into pitch by 2 pi r where r is the radius of the helix, c is the velocity of light that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second, pitch is the distance between two rings of helix. Helix is preferred over other slow wave structures for traveling wave tube because it provides least change in the axial phase velocity. Higher power traveling wave tubes usually contain beryllium oxide ceramic as both a helix support rod and in some cases as an electron collector for the traveling wave tube because it has special electrical, mechanical and thermal properties. Next is the operation of traveling wave tube. Here the input voltage is applied across the cathode and anode inside the electron gun and this voltage accelerates the electrons towards the far end of the tube. 
the external magnetic field that is which is provided by permanent magnet or electromagnets around the tube focuses the electrons into a beam the rf input signal to be amplified is fed into the helix via a wave guide or electromagnetic coil by controlling the accelerating voltage the speed of this electron beam is set similar to speed of rf signal through the helix the input rf signal in the wire causes a magnetic field to be induced in the center of the helix where the electrons are flowing depending on the phase of the signal the electrons will either be accelerated or decelerated as they pass the windings that is during the positive half of the input wave the electrons are accelerated and during the negative half of the wave the electrons are decelerated that is slowed down this process of acceleration and deceleration of the electrons is known as velocity modulation and this causes the electron beam to bunch up the resulting pattern of electron density in the beam is an analog of the original rf signal since the beam is passing the helix as it travels and also the signal that varies it causes induction in the helix amplifying the original input signal the induced signal in the slow wave structure that is the helix causes a phase shift of minus 90 degree relative to the initial wave form while traveling the electrons deliver their energy to the signal in the helix and they slow down a second directional coupler that is wave guide which is placed near the collector receives the amplified signal from the far end of the rf circuit next let us see the types of traveling wave tubes there are two main types of traveling wave tube helix traveling wave tube and coupled cavity traveling wave tube first helix traveling wave tube in helix traveling wave tube the radio waves interact with the electron beam while traveling down a wire helix which surrounds the beam it is highly sensitive low noise and wide band amplifier they are used in low power radar receivers and also in measurement equipments these helix traveling wave tubes have bandwidth as high as 2 octaves next coupled cavity traveling wave tube in this type the radio wave interacts with the beam in a series of cavity resonators through which the beam passes these coupled cavity traveling wave tubes are used as power amplifiers for high power transmitters but their bandwidth is very low that is only 10 to 20% next backward wave oscillator that is bwo bwo or cosinotron is a vacuum tube which belongs to traveling wave tube family it is a special type of vacuum tube used to produce microwave signals in the range of terahertz this backward wave oscillator is unlikely to be used as a pulse device The difference between backward wave oscillator and traveling wave tube is that in backward wave oscillator the electron beam and electromagnetic wave propagate in the opposite directions that is here first an electron gun generates an electron beam that interacts with the slow wave structure then it sustains the oscillations by propagating a traveling wave backwards against the beam here the generated electromagnetic wave power has its group velocity directed opposite to the direction of motion of the electrons here the output rf power is extracted at the output power port which is located near the gun next there are two types of backward wave oscillators first type is the m type backward wave oscillator and second type is o type backward wave oscillator m type backward wave oscillator is the most powerful one the m type backward wave oscillator is a voltage controlled 
non resonant extrapolation of magneton interaction that is it uses crossed static electric field and magnetic field similar to magnetron for focusing an electron beam drifting perpendicularly to electric and magnetic field the o type backward wave oscillator uses an electron beam longitudinally focused by a magnetic field and the slow wave structure interacts with the beam the output power of o type backward wave oscillator is in the range of 1 milliwatt at 1000 gigahertz to 50 milliwatt at 200 gigahertz these backward wave oscillators are used as powerful and stable microwave sources they are used as illuminators in tetrahertz imaging due to the good quality wave front which they produce they are also used in research civilian and military applications next noise figure the most important parameter for the use of traveling wave tube as a pre amplifier in radar receivers is the noise figure this noise figure determines the sensitivity of the receiver and thus the maximum range of the radar the noise figure of traveling wave tube ranges from 3 to 10 decibels there are three unavoidable sources of noise in a traveling wave tube they are first is the short noise which results from the random emission of electrons from the cathode second is the velocity noise which arises from different velocities of the emitted electrons and third one is the johnson nyquist noise which is the electronic noise generated by the thermal agitation of the electrons the noise figure depends on the size of most supply voltages of the traveling wave tube that is for example if the voltages at the electrodes are 5% less than the optimum value then the noise figure approximately doubles next let us see the applications of traveling wave tubes traveling wave tubes are used as pre amplifier in radar receivers they are also used in wide band communication links and coaxial cables as repeater amplifiers or intermediate amplifiers to amplify low signals this traveling wave tubes have a long tube life so because of this they are used as power output tubes in communication satellites next let us see the previous year's questions first question this question was asked in june 2014 it is assertion and reason type first assertion traveling wave tube amplifier is a narrow band device and has a helical structure and it is used as amplifier and oscillator reason in traveling wave tube the electron beam travels through a slow wave structure and speed of electron beam is 1 by 10th of the velocity of speed sorry velocity of light we know that traveling wave tube is used only as an amplifier but not oscillator so statement a is false but if you see the reason the electron beam travels through a slow wave structure it is also true and the speed of electron beam is 1 by 10 of the velocity of light so this is also true so reason is true next question this question was also asked in june 2014 the primary of the helix in a traveling wave tube is to prevent the electron beam from spreading in the long tube reduce the axial velocity of the rf field to ensure broadband operation to reduce the noise figure the primary of helix is to reduce the axial velocity of the rf field so answer b is correct next question this question was also asked in june 2014 one of the following is unlikely to be used as a pulse device it is the traveling wave tube cfe bwo and next option multi cavity crystal we know that bwo that is backward wave oscillator is unlikely to be used as a pulse device so option c is correct 
Next question. This question was asked in July 2018. A traveling wave tube amplifier has the following properties. First one, it provides an octave bandwidth. Second one, it provides an approximate gain of 40 decibels and more. It has a low noise figure. It has a very high noise figure. Out of the above statements, the following is correct. We know that traveling wave tube amplifier provides an octave bandwidth and it has an approximate gain of 40 decibel and more and also it has a low noise figure. But it doesn't have high noise figure. So option D is correct. Next question. This question was asked in December 2018. It is matched the following type. Traveling wave tube. We know that slow wave circuit is correct. Magnetron. It provides output in kilowatt megawatt output power range. Next, triodes. They are used for low frequency operation. Next, gun diode. It provides low output power. Hence, option C is correct. Sixth question. This question was asked in June 2019. Which of the following uses slow wave structure? Option A, reflex cliston. Option B, traveling wave tube. Option C, magnetron. Option D, gun diode. We know that traveling wave tube uses slow wave structure. So option B is correct. Next question. This question was asked in November 2020. It is matched the following type. First, clistron. We know that in clistron, electron bunching occurs. Next, transfer electron devices. It is related to warm electrons. MOSFET. It is related to pinch of voltage. Next, traveling wave tube. It has slow structure. Thanks for watching the video. For more videos, don't forget to subscribe our channel.